All right, so I know a couple of you homies wanted to see how I uh, put the bevel on the ends of these posts, so I'm just gonna do a freehand with my beam saw, and then I'll round over the edge with the belt sander. So I got my saw set at about 17 degrees, and then I just make four cuts. So it's easier to do it on a on a chop saw if you've got one on site. I don't have one right now. Cuts will be cleaner, but I'll just use my block plane and the chisel to just flatten out these bevels perfectly. Helps if you have a large timber chisel or a slick. So for this part right here, there's really uh, no way you can get a router to round that over. So I just take the belt sander and I just feather it in with the belt sander going up and down and around until it looks pretty. It's uh, kind of a rough method, but it seems to be working out really well. So hey, do what's easy. Once I've got it roughed out with the belt sander, I just use a spent sanding disc and feather it in by hand. And there you have it. Nice and simple. Alright, now listen up. Here's how you do a tapered chamfer on a post. I know some of you guys wanted to know how to do these things. It's pretty simple. First, you get a big chamfer bit on your router. The sucker's, I don't know, two inch diameter at the base. It's the biggest one that Freud sells. And you can, you can find them in hardware stores or woodcraft. But once you got the right size chamfer bit, you take your square and you measure from the edge of your table to the edge of your bearing. So from the edge of my table to the inside of my bearing there, from here to there, it's two and seven eighths. Okay? Two and seven eighths inches. So where you want to start your chamfer at the deepest point, you just measure in two and seven eighths inches and then you make a mark. Kind of hard to do this and videotape at the same time, but two and seven eighths. And then at the bottom, you measure from your blade two inches to the edge of the table. So at the bottom, where you want the chamfer to stop, you mark two inches. Then from there you take a straight edge, I'm just going to use a four foot level. You just line up your straight edge with this mark and this mark. Clamp it on and there's your fence. Just start your router, go to it. Easy peasy. covered my camera in dust. Yeah, so you can see that there's my start. Follow the fence and it just tapers down to zero. 
right there. Now you just do all four corners like that. Now the problem is that the top edge of this has a nice radius and then the bottom, because it's a square or a straight edge, has a 45. So I just take my uh, square here and I'll mark 45 on both sides and then I just take my chisel and I'll just chisel a perfect 45 bevel to a straight point so that way you don't doesn't look like a router did it looks like it was done by hand cuz it was Nice tapered chamfer. Sand it up, paint it up, you're done.